today we've been talking a lot of sports on the show. Mike, we've been talking a lot of Cardinal baseball with Dennis Phillips. We've been talking a little bit of football. NFL. Are you excited about the NFL season kicking off next week? Uh, yeah, yes and no. I mean, I'm, I love football, but, you know, me, I, I'm a degenerate gambler, so I'm going to try to try to stay away from betting any. I haven't bet any yet, uh, so I'm hopefully I'm not going to start. Right, That's my big, right. No, I, but, I mean, I, I can't wait for it to start. I mean, I... Uh, I uh, I I think there's going to be a lot a lot of great teams a lot of great uh, I, I can't it's going to be fun right now you know everybody grows up a fan of this team or that team you grew up a fan of which team in the NFL well the team that I bet on mm-hmm. <laughs> good answer <laughs> good answer yeah. do do you do any fantasy football stuff. No, I never have. I never got into it. Um, everybody says I should. They say I, I would like it, but I don't know. Um, just something I never did, I guess. Uh, right. Every time I get in like these like uh, these leagues that where you, I mean, I get in those suicide leagues every year, and I always forget to put my pick in, and I get I get knocked out. So I mean, I'm just, can only imagine me forgetting to put in my fantasy teams. So I have enough problems like getting ready and to do all that. That's the main right. reason why. And you got to play in the league, so it'll give you an auto pick. Yeah, exactly. Well, I do in the in the in the suicide league. I get, I, I get, I get into the league that gives you the auto, but you the auto pick's always like the the biggest favorite, or something like that. So I'm not really good at this stuff. But right, a lot of work, a lot of work doing the fantasy leagues. It's not like walking into the sports book at the Mirage and laying it down. Um, who, I love who do football. You think I love football too. Who do you think? Who are you picking? Who uh, your early season picks? Who do you I, think? Are the- I'm pretty pretty sharp in these picks. I, I I mean, last year, I I think I had the two best teams in football when I uh that I had at like thirty to one and twenty to one to win the Super Bowl. And both, the, the, I made the bet the second I made the bet the following weekend that uh, I, I got a, a mid season break. And the following weekend they both lost their quarterbacks, and I'm going to go ahead and. Go out and win and take those two teams this year. I think uh, the Houston Texans and the Chicago Bears. Right, what? right. That's what your Super Bowl. Of... What's that? That's your Super Bowl right there. Yeah, I mean, I don't know so much. I mean, I had them last year, but I mean, I, I'm not quite so sure about like the Bears this year as I was last year. I mean, they were really, really good last year. They improved themselves this year. Um, so. Hey Mike, uh, I'm not I'm quite let, a sh- Mike. Uh, Mike, I'm going to let you call a shot right here. You got you got 940 chips. The lines are 75 and 150, and the guy under the gun is raised to 450, and you got pocket threes. Ship it or fold? Fold. Huh? Fold 100 percent. All right. Fold 100 percent. All right, monkey getting locked poker tips from Mike the Mouse Manisol on the air. So that's what monkey does. He sits over there. And he- Better off being the one. You're much better off being the one shipping any two, two, any like, two like, cards. First like ten of the pop, like, like ace ten card. on the like ace ten on the button right now with a limper and early. What's that? Ace ten on the button with one limper behind. That's definitely a shipping spot. Yeah. 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 Right, let's yeah. let's let her let's let her rip. Mike, I got a question for you. This is a question a lot of the a lot of the listeners will want me to ask you. What the hell have you been up? To? To since Black Friday, have you been playing much poker? Uh, what have you been doing away from poker? Those kind of things. What have you been doing since Black Friday, brother? I've been online poker six months, playing online poker probably eight months before Black Friday. So it didn't really change my. The only thing that changed in my life was the fact that you know my involvement with full tilt and stuff. Um, I've been doing what I always do, which is, which I don't seem to understand why people don't realize this, but I play mixed games at the you know, at Bellagio or Aria, wherever we're playing at. I mean, that's all I've done my whole life is play mixed games. I've never been a tournament player. I've never been an online player much. I mean, I was for a while, but, I mean, that's what I do. I play mixed games. You know, that's all I do. I play mixed right. games down in San Diego. I play mixed games in Bellagio or Aria. And uh, that and I bet sports a little bit, in which I've tried. I'm, you know, I go on in and out of sports betting. Um, what? So... Right, poker is a lot easier for you and a lot less, a lot less work than sports betting, isn't it? 
Uh, actually, sports betting is a lot easier, but poker is a lot more work. <laughs> <laughs> now, these mixed games that you play, let's let, let's eliminate no limit hold them naturally. You're not, I, do you play that? Do, do you guys include that in your mixed games over Bellagio and Aria? I, I, honestly, in the last three years, I mean, I might have played two hours of no limit hold them in my life. I mean, but I guess if I you include it to the world, I mean, the World Series. Maybe I play. I mean, I I I haven't even played two hours of cash game. No one at all of them. I mean, I just never play. So I right. mean, it's just. So, so the mix. So the mix games. Which game do you feel like is Mike Matisal the strongest at? Oh, I play them all good. They all play bad. I play them all good. So. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Sounds like, you had that sounds like confidence. It is. It is it's not just, just, just a bunch of fucking retards. That's all. Nice. Yeah, if you, you had to pick, idiots, idiots, you, you know, had, you win. What's if that? If you had to pick, if you had to pick a game, though, which game? If I if I just boxed you into a corner and made you pick a game that you played the best, which uh, game would you pick? I own my eight or better. Right, right. And you know, I'm thinking back. I'm not going to quote the man directly, but I do want to bring up Chip Jet said that Limit Omaha, and I'm I'm paraphrasing. Chip Jet once said Omaha. High low eight is probably the one game in poker that you can't play too tight. Would you agree? Mm -hmm. That you can't play too tight. Meaning there's no such thing as playing too tight. Or right. No, it's exactly the opposite. Meaning the like opposite. I think you said you, that, yeah. You can't you can't play that. You can't play Omaha eight or better like a nit. You'll never win. Well, I think that's he said the, opposite. I play it like a nit and I'll win. So I don't know. <laughs> I just oh that was beautiful. I think he probably said opposite. The, the game that people play that play too loose can't win. Is what he what he's probably said. Right, right. So that would be yeah. kind of an agreement with the Chip Jet quote. Uh, let's you know. get back to football. Uh, who wins the Central in the NFC this year? I'm so confused now. The NFC Central. Green Bay. That, is it is it all Green dude, Bay? He or? just told he just told you I Chicago mean, I think is a Super Bowl out. team. Toughest division no, of football. You do that to me. I mean, I mean, Green Bay. It's going to be Green Bay or Chicago. I mean, Detroit. I mean, it's so good. Also, I mean, it's ridiculous. That's a yeah. great division. No, you know, no, I, no, Monkey. I want to elaborate. When Mike says he's taking Houston and Chicago to bet to play in the Super Bowl, I think he's more looking like for value. Long, like long shot value, future bet. Long shot. Yeah, that's yeah. not truly. It, I mean, honestly, you really want me to pick who I like? I mean, in the Super Bowl, I mean, to everybody. I mean, I I think that that the the Eagles are just. I mean, if they stay healthy, are just a hundred times best best team. But Michael Vick's more likely to get injured. Which is, if he gets injured, he's out four or five games. That 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 puts them back at eight and eight again. You know, uh, the Giants are just always overlooked. With Eli Manning is just a fucking monster. I mean. It's just whoever's injury free is really who wins the Super Bowl every year. That's all you got to look at. Um, I think Denver's going to be a monster. Peyton Manning. I mean, uh, but they're, 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 you know, I've been going over things with my friends. Like, they're never going to. There's going to be no wild card come out of the AFC Central. Denver or San Diego wins. That that division is going to beat up on each other. So whoever or Kansas City. So whoever wins that division is getting in the playoffs. Nobody else. Then you look at uh, same with the Houston Houston division. Houston's going to win, and you know they stay healthy. They're for sure going to win. Uh, Tennessee could could possibly challenge them, but there'll be no wild card out of that division. No. And uh, New, New England is going to win for sure, but they, the wild card, I mean, is almost for sure going to be Buffalo. Because if you look at Buffalo's schedule, it's so weak, it's unbelievable. Buffalo is going to finish ten and six, even if they, their whole team gets decimated. And Buffalo actually has a chance to go eleven and five or twelve and four because their division is so weak, or their schedule is right. so weak. So let's think about the uh, let's think, think about Buffalo, the interconference wild card, and that leads in the other division: uh, Baltimore, uh, Cincinnati, Pittsburgh, with only one other wild card. One of those two two teams getting left out, and I believe the Pittsburgh is going to get left out because I think that they're old, and I think that Ben Roethlisberger can't get healthy. So I think Baltimore wins the division. And Cincinnati gets the wild card. That's just my opinion. Right. Uh, some some good opinions in that. Now let's think about the interconference matchups. You know, each team will play 
a different division from the other conference, meaning the NFC East will play the AFC West. So the Denver, Kansas City, San Diego, Oakland group will be playing Philadelphia, New York, Dallas, and Washington. Those two divisions are going to beat up on each other. The AFC East, New England, Jets, Buffalo, they get an easier schedule getting to play the NFC West. Um, let's go ahead and move it over to the NFC South, Atlanta, New Orleans. This is kind of monkeys from Biloxi. He's a big New Orleans fan. What do you think, what do you think might go on in the NFC South? Yeah, that's unbelievable. I mean, I I, I think that it's uh, New Orleans. I, I I believe that New Orleans team was the, the coach is so good, and the loss of that coach is just. I don't believe that New Orleans can overcome the loss of that coach and win that division. I just don't. Uh, I mean, they they get a wild card, but but I mean, I really believe they're going to beat up on each other at last. And I think Carolina is uh you know got a real good shot if they all stay healthy. And, going all the way. I mean, that Cam Newton's unbelievable, and their defense got decimated last year, and not to mention how many games they gave away. Uh, Matt Ryan's unbelievable. That, 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 that whole, those two top three teams are unbelievable. Tampa Bay is going to be much improved. I mean, I have no idea who's going to win that division or who's going to get the wild card. You know, you, you look at, you look at the, the Giants and the Dallas and the Philly just beating up on each other, and you can't really believe that a wild card could come out of that that division. So you you got to believe that a wild card is going to come out of the the Green Bay, South. Chicago, Detroit, or Atlanta, New, New New Orleans, or Carolina. I mean that's and we all know the and Frisco's a one one team in the other division. So I mean, maybe let, I'm wrong. Me, but I don't yeah, know. right. That is tough calls there. Lucky, let me ask you, what do you, since you are a New Orleans fan, what do you think the season will hold for the New Orleans Saints missing, absent of uh, Sean, Sean Payton? What do you think is going to yeah, happen? I know, I, I know all those intangibles that you're talking about. I, the, the one thing about, about the Saints is the one, the, the, one, the one great thing they got going for them is Drew Brees. Um, and I don't mean just from a statistical uh, way of looking at it. Obviously, the guy can put up numbers. He is such a leader, and he has got such a grasp on that team that I really think. I mean, and, and the thing about football, where it comes, where coaching is involved, I think that coaching in football is so much more of an organizational thing than just a one-person deal. Because you, if you ever played football, you you understand that like the, the football team is really it's broken up into four or five different teams. You know, you got all your linebackers, you got all your linemen, you got all your DBs, you got all your running backs, your receivers. A lot of times, you don't even see these guys in practice. You don't even you don't even listen to the head coach that often. It, it, it's more you, they're more they're more tuned into their position coaches, and then and then and then yeah, you go in in meetings and you get a game plan. I think that the that the Saints have built such a good organization with with their coaching, with all with their coaching at all different levels. And I think they all feel a little bit like they've been really kind of beaten down and victimized by the by the NFL itself. They have and been with Drew, and, and, You know, and with, Drew, and with oh. Drew Brees leading that team the way he does and the way that city just – I mean, they just rally around that guy. And I just think that they – you know, anytime you kick a dog, you know, you kick a dog, it, it, that dog, you, it, he's just going to come back more vicious and ferocious and want to kill you. You know, and I just – I really think that, that it's going to work out to, to New Orleans' advantage this year. They didn't lose – you think about the guys they lost on defense. They didn't lose shit on defense. They had the worst defense in the league last year. So any, anything that was – anything with subtraction was, was addition by subtraction. I mean, they I, added like – they added three or four very quality defensive players. I just don't – I don't see any drop-off at all, you know. And I, and uh, I think with the added, with the added motivation – I think it serves more of a, more of a benefit than anything. I don't know that New Orleans defense was that bad. I think that they're all they were the worst. Defense. They were the statistically the worst defense in the league. Right, and Green, and Green is, Bay was the second worst. Well, the, 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 that, that is a, that, that's similar statistics, Monty. I mean, you know, your offense is putting yourself into positions. Yeah, uh, they, and I I know you put a big you put right. a big lead on the board, and the other team is forced that's to start right. passing. And, it, it, right, they, right. It's a, Stuff that people are saying, or it's because the other team's out in front by 21 right away, and the other team is trying to come back. I mean, 
Same with New England. It's the same thing they said. So, but like New England's got the weak, the weakest schedule. New England's going to go like fourteen and two this year. I mean, I'm telling you, the, the I, I don't, I, I don't, I don't know, man. I, I, I like. Uh, they keep saying defenses don't win championships now. It's, it's changed. It's offense the league now. That's a bunch of bullshit. You know, if you look at who came on strong at the end of the year last year, that got to the that got to the playoff, that got to the Super Bowl. I mean, the Giants were the best defensive team the last four weeks of the season. They showed it in the playoffs, okay? And the only reason why New England got there is because the guy dropped the pass for Baltimore. Baltimore was the best defensive team, you know, or it would have been Baltimore and the Giants, the two best defensive teams in each league at the end of the year. So, you know, I go by defense, and I, that's why, I, you know, I pick Houston and Chicago, and it could be easily be Houston and Philadelphia uh, sure. or, uh, you know, Mike, how good do you think? How, how good do you think? Defense was last year. I mean, all I heard of Tebow. Tebow didn't do shit. The fucking defense kept him in the game every every game. Agree. How good do you How good do you think the Baltimore Ravens will be this year? Well, they'll be as good as they were last year. I said maybe better because I thought Flacco showed me. I thought I thought I've always thought Flacco was a bum until that playoff game last year, where everybody wrote him off and said he sucks or whatever, and he and he was so good against you know, against New England, and the guy dropped the pass, and they should have gone to the Super Bowl. But I think they're they're definitely the team to beat. I mean, one of the teams to beat in the AFC. There's four teams that are, you know, you got them, New England, Houston, and Denver, as far as I'm concerned, and everybody else is chasing them. I mean, a lot of people don't think Denver is overrated with Peyton Manning, but what, are you kidding me? A team, like, had the best defense in the league last year, and they bring in the best quarterback that ever lived, and, Dude, and, the, guy uh, to watch, the guy to hey, the guy to watch on Denver's team is Demarius Moore because dude, he, that guy's a shit. And the, the reason he didn't have any numbers is because they didn't have a quarterback that could get him the ball. Yeah, and I think I, the team, that team, I think the team is really going to be the biggest joke this year of the Jets. I think they they'll be lucky to win five games. I mean, I look at their schedule. I, I look at them as a five and you know maybe five and eleven team, four and twelve team. I think that this Rex Ryan's a complete idiot. All he, he brought will bring in Tebow in as like as this retarded. I mean, he just yeah. basically he, he basically he brought a media circus to town to try and have the. I mean, nobody even talks about the Giants. They just talk about the Jets, which is what you know that what she wanted. You know what I mean? So don't you, uh, think, don't, he, you think that, don't you think Con had a really good opportunity as a new owner down in Jacksonville to bring Tebow in and fill his stadium every week? So he, Tebow didn't want to go to him. Tebow wanted to go to the Jets. Right. Uh, let, let me ask you this, Mike. You seem high on Denver in the AFC West. Kansas City and San Diego. Compare those nope. two teams. I, I really think there is a chance that Kansas City might emerge in that division this year. They're my sleeper uh, pick in the AFC. Great. Yeah. Their defense what do you was great. Think? I thought their defense was great last year, but I just don't think that the quarterback can get them there. I, I just no, I don't. I just don't. It's a quarterback-driven league, and I mean, he's 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 just not a good. He's not an elite enough quarterback to to get him there. I just I just don't believe so. I mean, I do. I think San Diego could get there. I think it's San Diego or Denver. You know, I think San Diego would be a lot better. They they had a really good draft, uh, but I don't think any team that's quarter that that Norv Turner as coach can ever win. So that you know eliminates that for me. <laughs> right. Okay. Now we're down that's to funny. we're down to that's North that's Turner. Valid, how does, that, how, does that guy, how does that guy keep employed? I, I, that's what I want to know. How does he what keep his job? As a head coach, like I can understand as an offensive coordinator. Well, they, how does that fire, guy, how does that guy keep? When I hire the guy, I almost fell off the chair laughing. Yeah. You know, but that's when you know, the guys. He's like a. He has to have it his way. That owner, you know, he's really, really. Uh, about his way. Right. Okay. Now, nope. change the subject what? a little bit. How about baseball? How about the How about the Oakland A's? All they do is just beat the shit out of every team in baseball. They're amazing. I don't know what. I don't know how they're doing it. Right now, going for their ninth straight win, with a team that 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 everybody said last year when Billy Bean traded away Gonzalez and Cahill, uh, Gonzalez to Washington, Cahill to to Arizona for Parker and the, and the other pitcher, and they're dismantling the team and blah, blah, blah. Perfect. 
It's, it's yeah. so perfect that they're having this season after the movie, too, you know? Well, the, the pictures he got for him are unbeatable. They got, they, they picked, they, they signed this rush, they, they, this, this Cuban guy. Suspedes. Suspedes. But uh, all he does, and he leads, since the all-star break, he leads the league in home runs, RBIs, hits, and all they do is win. But, I mean, they do have a brutal schedule down the stretch, but it's pretty amazing. Right. That Brad Pitt is one hell of a GM over there. Okay, back to football, man. We have not talked about, this is our last division I want to talk about, the NFC West. Mike, how good is San Francisco? Can they do it again this year? Uh, they're, my, they're actually, I mean, they, 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 they're actually my pick, really, to, to go to the Super Bowl. I mean, if they're healthy, I mean, uh, they were the best team in football last year. If, if Ted Ginn Jr. doesn't get, get injured right before the, the NFC Championship game, they don't have the guy that replaces them in there that gives away two fumbles, and they probably go to the Super Bowl. I mean, their defense is the best in, in, in the NFC, and and now they they bring on Manningham and uh, and, and what's his name and I don't Randy I don't Moss know. and Randy Moss and then they got they got a uh, wow I mean they got Crab, the they got Crabtree Moss running back uh, and Manningham you know, yeah they're, they're lo- loaded the coaching is great they're loaded uh, they're going to be able to pretty much have the division one probably again early in the year. Take it easy uh, now. I'm a, I'm a diehard Seahawks fan, so I don't want to hear that. But, yeah, I agree with you. Going a lot of places. Yeah, they're going a lot of places. They're going nowhere. The coach is an idiot. They're starting on, a five foot, They're starting a <laughs> foot eleven. They're, they're starting a five foot eleven rookie quarterback because he looked good in preseason against second and third stringers. I, I mean, like you it. really. I like it. I like it. Think, I like the negative. I like the negativity. It's, so what you're saying is that you have. Then, no expectations, so the guy could fail and it won't matter, right, because he was expected to? How like Russell will do anything? First of all, there's only been one one player, one NFL quarterback in history at six feet or under that's been a superstar. And he's Drew fucking Brees? still – Drew Brees, that's it. The other, that, guy's the only, that guy's horrible. The only other one that was good, and it took really? him eight years – The only, it took him eight years to get in the league was, was – uh, what's his name? Uh, Flutie. Yeah, Flutie. Flutie, Flutie was like Flutie was like 5'7". No, he's 5'11". No, he wasn't. No, he was he... like 5'8". Listen, I know. I bar I bartended. He had a place in New York City where I lived in '92, and I bartended there. It was in the South Street Seaport. It was called Flutie's, and he would come in about once a month. And that guy was not a not a pin over 5'8". Right. Well, either way, I'm not. I mean that's why they didn't. That's why they didn't. Mat- they didn't. Uh, they didn't uh, draft uh, Kellen Moore. I think Kellen Moore is a great, great, great quarterback. I think he's a backup now. What for Detroit? And, yeah, uh, Detroit. and, and no arm and they, strength. They say he's got no arm strength, but I mean he throws pin perfect passes. I mean, just like no, but uh, the game. The game is so much faster in the NFL. Like your your accuracy in college doesn't. It can be great. Mm-hmm. Or it can be decent, and, you're, and you get away with your arm speed because the guys aren't the guys aren't catching up to the balls. I mean, in the NFL, shit, these guys these guys are there like, boom. You can't you can't be throwing a pass that takes one guy like Manning. Not Manning. He's not a good example now because he's he's not firing peas like he used to. But if a pass takes a second and a half to get there in the pros, and it takes you two seconds to get there in college. That's like a huge difference. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, I, I, if you look at the the, the people at the team, uh, there's there's the quarterbacks and that are in that were in the college that they said couldn't miss in the pros, right? Right. That that that, that was that are no. I mean, look at who would I mean look uh, look at uh, the the back uh, the the one that was on Texas, you know, and the one that just got released. Uh, he's, n- he's going nowhere. Tennessee Titan quarterback. Um, you talking about TJ uh, Yates? No, no, no. The guy, the guy, the one, Young, the former. Look at Vince. Oh, Vince, Vince Young. Young. He that he would be the bum that he is. Hey, who who would ever have thought that uh, the you know the uh, the one that's uh, backs up uh, Carson Palmer the, the, that that they played in the AF, that that big title game together would, would be a bum. Um. Michael, I am 
I, Michael, I am from St. Louis. Um, you're not talking, about, I am you're not talking about Jamar. You're not talking about Jamarcus. No. He's uh, out. Who are you talking? Oh, Matt Liner. Welcome to the worst. Uh, talk yeah. to uh, uh, Lenard, Matt Lenard. I mean, who would have thought Matt Lenard would never make it in the pros? You know, right. they said he missed. They said Matt Lenard could not miss. He was he was pro ready when he left USC. Yeah. You know. Well, he missed. Yeah, he missed all right. All right. Michael, That's... Michael, I am from St. Louis. Naturally, I'm a Rams fan. I want you to break Sucks the news. For you. To, I want right. you to break the. I want you to break the bad news to the Rams fans here in town. Tell them how bad are the St. Louis Rams going to be this year. I think the St. Louis Rams are not going to be bad at all. Really? I think they got. I think they got a coach. I think they got a coach. I think they got a franchise quarterback. I think if they just need to, they need to, they need to definitely start drafting offensive linemen. You know, they, they can't. They, I don't understand why they don't. They they got a fifty million dollar quarterback with nobody to protect them. I mean, the guy's going to be could be dead before he has a chance to win. It's pretty right. crazy. They got, they got three first round picks on the defensive line, but you're right. I think they are neglecting they the offense. Not sure what anybody says they got they what they got from Washington. I mean, Washington gave up for. for was like a stone steal. They just absolutely just date raped them, you know. Right. Because the, uh, they're so stupid, Washington, for, for RG3. Did you just say, for... say date raped them? They did. <laughs> they did. They, did. they, they absolutely <laughs> raped. They, they raped, raped them. them. The Reds, hey, let me ask. They gave, them, they gave them like 19 fucking picks. No, for, that, was, for... that was a retarded, retarded deal. I don't know, I don't know what, who was thinking there was, I mean, there was no no thinking went on in that transaction. I mean, yeah, even if R if RG three becomes like a top three quarterback in the league, I think they gave up too much. I mean, yeah, maybe. I, mean, I don't know. I I think I don't think RG three will be that good, but whatever. I, I'm, whatever. Tired, I'm tired of seeing his subway commercials. I'll tell you that right now. Yeah, maybe they won't yeah. be that. Maybe the Rams won't be that good this year, but boy, they have a hell of a future with all those picks. So they got a who's good gonna, Who's going to win more games this year, the Seattle Seahawks or the St. Louis Rams? Or who cares? Who yeah. cares? <laughs> okay. Let's put number three. You both. Yeah. But I, I think the Rams. My Seahawks I, are back. Uh, I think the Rams will go six and ten. Right. Uh, we're, de- I, we're, I, def- I, we're definitely doing better than six and ten. Six and nine. Seattle will go seven and nine. Rams will go six and ten. Uh, the Arizona Cardinals are going eight and eight. Right. And, okay. You're, and, the, and probably San Francisco will go fourteen and two again. You think San Francisco is going to be that good and not sneak up on the league this year, or are they just that good? I mean, it's just I don't see. There's nobody in the division. They're going to how many? They, they play. The, the, they're, go, they're going six and zero in the division. So I mean, how many? All you got to do is look at their schedule here. Seattle okay, will beat and then, San Francisco at home. I think San Francisco can find a way to lose to Seattle on the road or, or get upset somewhere What's within that division. Yeah. Russell Wilson is beating nobody. Okay? Thank you. You're wrong. You're wrong. I'm, okay. I can't wait to, we'll, catch, guys, we'll catch up. We'll catch up during the season. I have one of the top three worst NFL coaches in the league. There he was a fuck, He was so good when he was in college <laughs> paying players to play for him. Okay? So... He was everybody's geniuses, but when he, he was a loser in New England, he's a loser in Seattle. He draft, look what he does. He gives ten million dollars a year to Flynn, and he makes him a backup quarterback. He's a That's fucking idiot. Funny. I he, like gave that, and, he gave six and a half million to the idiot Tavares Jackson and traded him away. You're trying to oh, guy wow. the move. How do you sign? Well, that, how do you sign somebody for ten million dollars and you put him as a backup? Okay. Wow. That's, that should tell you how much that that hey. That right there should tell you how how impressive Russell Wilson is. No, that's going to tell you how bad a coach uh, Carroll is. Is what it tells you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's folks. If you're not, that. if if you don't understand the sub plot here, Monkey grew up in Seattle. He's a diehard Seattle fan. He now lives in Biloxi. He roots for the Saints. And Mike is explaining to Monkey what an idiot Coach Carroll is for the Seahawks. <laughs> He's terrible. He's terrible. I mean, look at these guys. Look at, Coach look at this. 
Here, I'll give you your Seattle Seahawks schedule here. Let me read it off for you. Oh, you don't have to. I know. We, we know. Somebody, yeah. Win loss, you. win loss, win loss. I can do this on the air just, just for you because you're I, just. I got us going. I got us going 10 and 6. So you're, oh, so you're, they're, they're going 10 and 6, all right. And, and of course, that's in your life, another lifetime, not this lifetime. Uh, yeah, they'll win 10 games. How are they, how are they going to win 10 games? We've already how won is, four. We've already won four. Arizona, loss. Dallas at home, loss. At Dallas, Green Bay at home, loss, 0 and 3. At St. Louis, loss, 0 and 4. At Carolina, <laughs> loss. Versus New England, loss. San Francisco, loss. Detroit, loss. Minnesota at home, I'll give a win. Versus the Jets, I'll give a win. Now you're up to two wins. At All Miami, right. even give you a win at Miami. How's that? That's three. Hey. Oh, thanks a lot. Okay, I have them winning four games. Wow. Maybe five. Five That's and so 11. Maybe five. It feels like you're right, shooting low. Guys, I'm going to interrupt. We are done but with the NFL. I want to know where you find ten wins off this schedule. They're genius. <laughs> They're going to go into Arizona and win? Give me odds. Give me odds. Okay, possibly. They're going to beat the Cowboys at home? Yeah, right. They're going to beat I Green Bay at home? Yeah, right. They're going to go in the St. Louis and win? Doubtful. In the Carolina and win? They're going to beat the Patriots at San Francisco, at Detroit? Yeah, they're going to win those games. Yeah, right. They're they going to win the Minnesota. happen in the NFL. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. All right, guys, I'm squatching. 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 I'm squ